The painting attracted attention. Syndicated columnist Bob Green wrote a series of columns about the search, and Dorothy Hughes was found. I want to get with you, you know, so... And has spoken to Please Robert Guono, who has now delivered Walter Murphy's message. What was the message that Walter wanted delivered to her? That he loved her and that he wanted her to be happy. And uh, I also her Murphy gave me a message for his parents that they're dead, so I gave it to her that um, his parents shouldn't worry, that he knew what he was doing, he knew what was going to happen to him, and uh, he was doing the right thing, and that they shouldn't worry about his dying. Walter Murphy's ring will be delivered next week. Rich Samuels, Channel 5 News. After the death of and Robert Bono tonight, this story is almost over. This story began more than 20 years ago when Dorothy Hughes and Walter Murphy were sweethearts in Southern California. Walter Murphy went to Vietnam. He was killed there in 1967. But he'd given a ring to his comrade-in-arms, Robert Buono, and told him to deliver it upon his death to the woman he loved. And he made me promise. Keeping the promise wasn't easy. For in 1967, Robert Buono didn't know the woman's name, knew only that she lived in Southern California. The painting was the key. But uh, Buono, who lives in Hammond, Indiana, is an artist. And his painting of Walter Murphy caught the attention of a syndicated colonist whose stories jogged the memories of some Southern California readers and led to the discovery of the woman who loved Walter Murphy. Long last, huh? <laughs> Tonight she met the man who'd been looking for her, and they shared the memory of Walter Murphy, who was killed December 12, 1967. How would he feel about all this? This is what he wanted, and I'm glad that it happened this way. Murphy would be very happy. Of Walter Murphy, we have only a few flickering images, which Robert Buono shot in Vietnam years ago. Look at, it. Look at the eyebrows and the shape of the eyes. I mean, it's, it's no... Of Walter Murphy, Dorothy Hughes and Robert Buono have much more. They knew him best. But somehow their story is something we can all understand and, more important, feel. Ron? Indeed. Thanks, Rich. <laughs> to visit with an Indiana man she's never met. As Dick Johnson reports, tonight's meeting culminates a drama that started in Vietnam. It is a 20-year love story. The object of their love is here tonight only in spirit. Walter Murphy, killed in Vietnam, but not before predicting his death to combat buddy Bob Buono and giving him this ring to return to his fiancée in California, Dorothy Hughes. It took 20 years to find her. She's still unmarried. How is it that this love of yours has lasted so long? It was a strong love at first, and it, I don't think love ever dies, and this love never did, and it never will die. Um, Murphy was a great guy. I think she knew that before I did. <laughs> Buono was badly injured in the war and lost everything that would help him find Dorothy Hughes, except the ring. Now an artist living in Hammond, Indiana, he painted this tribute to Murphy and his ring, hoping by exhibiting it, he might complete this love story. But it was syndicated columnist Bob Green's articles about it that finally provided the necessary link. I'm glad that it happened this way. I'm glad that this man took 20 years to find me. It's the determination and the love that, that he had that did this all. And he would, Murphy would be very happy. United Airlines paid for her flight here and back. But you can't put a price on the memories and the memento, the ring she will carry back with her, the symbol of an immortal love. This was an important to Murphy, and I'm glad I could do it for him. But the ring will be exchanged in private, just how Murphy first gave it to Bob. Dick Johnson, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Years ago. Hi, buddy, Walter Murphy. Tonight, after 20 years, he made good on that promise. He delivered a ring and a message to his friend's high school sweetheart. CNN's Jeff Flock reports on the end of a long search. This is the way Robert Bono remembers the Vietnam War, his own 8mm films. Tank fire, choppers, bombs, death. The faces of the Vietnamese people and those of his friends like Walter Murphy. Murphy came up to me and said he had something very important for me to do for him. And he uh, told me that he wanted me to give this ring to his girlfriend, that he was going to die. Two weeks later, Murphy was dead. And all Robert Bono knew was that he had to find a blonde California girl named Dorothy. It took 20 years, but he finally did. Oh, oh, Robert! <laughs> With an assist from columnist Bob Green, who wrote of Bono's search, 
the two were united for the first time. I'm just happy to be here and meet the man that's waited to meet me for 20 years, and I've been, this is at long last love, huh? <laughs> <laughs> this was an important to Murphy, and I'm glad I could do it for him. Bono kept running into brick walls trying to find Dorothy until he tried one last thing, painting a picture of Murphy himself and another buddy from the war. That canvas, whether it took one month or 20 years more, would eventually find someone that recognized Murphy, and I, I, I knew that the canvas would eventually lead me to his girl. Bono's art, like this sculpture of a friend who won the Congressional Medal of Honor in Vietnam, has helped him deal with his war experience. The Murphy painting was something he felt he had to do. My arm is the only thing that broaches the ring and um, brings the past to the present. Bono says there was never a doubt that this moment would come. He was in love with uh, someone, and he wanted that someone to know that, and he wanted that someone to be free and uh, live a happy, healthy life. And um, that was what he wanted me to say. And so he said it to the now 37-year-old Dorothy Hughes, who in all the years since she knew Walter Murphy, has never married. It was a strong love at first, and it, I don't think love ever dies, and this love never did, and it never will die. I'm Jeff Flock, CNN, at O'Hare Airport in Chicago.